Hi everybody. My name is Terry Cox and I am the author of this book, How to Drive Like a Christian, a lighthearted guide to success on the highway and on the road of life. And I'm going to be starting a YouTube channel about all of the situations in my book. I love it when uh, I first meet up with people and I tell them I'm an author and they'll say, really, what's the title of your book? And I usually shorten it and I just say, how to drive like a Christian. And I watch their faces and I think about it for a minute. And then I like some of the responses they give. Some of them say, oh, my husband really needs to read that book. Or my wife needs to read that book. And sometimes they're very honest and they'll say, oh, I need to read that book. One of my favorite responses was, you know, I need to get that book for my pastor. And the reason people like it is that they're not alone. This happens to everyone, no matter how saintly you are, no matter what a good person you are and how kind and gentle. Sometimes you're just going to lose your religion when you're driving. You get so frustrated and angry when certain things happen and you don't handle them in a, in a very nice way. And um, so I thought, you know, there has to be some help with that. God's not just going to leave us out there with, with no way to handle that. Uh, and there's a scripture that reinforces that. It's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. And it says, There is no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tested beyond what you're able, but will with the temptation provide a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. And that just means if you think you're the worst and, you know, these things happen to you and you just lose it and you're embarrassed about how you handle things, you're not alone. It's a common problem. It's common to man, as the scripture said. And God is going to help you find a way to get through that by using the scriptures, those lessons you've learned in Sunday school or Bible study or through prayer and through the Holy Spirit. So that's what uh, that what we're going to be talking about, how to literally do better uh, a bit at being a Christian when you're behind the wheel of the car. But in my book, I also go a step further. In every chapter, after we've talked about a literal driving situation, then we take it a step further and we take it to the road of life. Um, situations that are similar that happen on the road of life or in your spiritual life. For example, you can drive into a ditch and get stuck in a ditch in your car and you don't know how you got there, you don't know how to get out, you might need help from another person or help from God. And so we would talk about literally how to get out of the ditch. But you can also be in a ditch in your life. You can be stuck in a situation that's not good you don't know how you got there. You need somebody to help you get out. And in those situations, I'll, I'll go into the scriptures and I'll use a lot of examples about Jesus when he was on the road and people that he encountered and, and how he helped them out of the ditch or how he helped them on the road of life. And uh, this is going to really help you just to, to get the truth of the scripture into your daily life, whether you're driving or whether you're just living your life. Another really wonderful gift that God has given us to help us with frustrations on the road is a sense of humor. It's something that God has given us that can really help us uh, take the pressure off, to take the rage out of us uh, when we're in a situation. If we use that creativity and that sense of humor, sometimes that can dispel a lot of those really heavy feelings. And I talk about that in the book as well. So that's where we're going, and I hope you'll go with me in my future videos. I'd love for you to leave some comments uh, to respond to some of the things I've said in the video, or maybe there are things that drive you nuts on the road that I haven't addressed, and we can talk about those and, and look for ways uh, that God can help us through some of those situations. You know, there's a scripture, another scripture that I love, and these are the words of Jesus. He said, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.